Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the Indian Standard Time IST to be called as in short. Uh, now the thing is whenever we are trying to uh, set the date of our computers so for example our PCs or laptops or by chance our mobile phones we usually see such kind of things which says UTC plus 530 Chennai, Kolkata, Mumbai, New Delhi or instead GMT GMT plus 530 and similar thing or something like UTC plus 5 at Is uh, Islamabad, Karachi or Seoul uh, or uh, UTC plus 9 or uh, UTC plus 3 at Baghdad uh, depending on the country maybe. Now the thing is what all these things are what this UTC plus 530 and these these places these prominent places what does it mean? Or otherwise, whenever we go to any airport or airport or a hotel or any place uh, pertaining to travel, for example, a travel office, we, we go there and we will certainly find on the wall there are several watch, several clocks uh, being there, and it some some says Canada, the one says UK or Tokyo and India and everyone every 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 clock will display a different time and there will be lacks of somewhere 12 hours or 6 hours or 5 hours or maybe anything now what what does this all means and why why such kind of changes are being showed at the same or at the same time of India or any other place and other places of the world now why why these things are there so uh, in front of you this this particular map it is a world time zone map for all the, all of the world where we will see different kind of countries and these two colors this green color and this yellow or orange color they'll show uh, the different countries are being div divided into different time zones and if you'll see uh, with focus it'll say plus five or plus six or plus seven or similarly it in on this hand side it says minus five minus six minus seven and so on and so forth and other thing that that we should notice about is is the dotted line this is the dotted line on this this world time zone uh, let me let me just write it here it is the world world time zones world time zones this is the map for world time zones now the thing is why why such things are there why 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 such numbers are there and why these colors are there and these divisions are there uh let me let me just tell you this this particular line that we were talking about is called as the gmt or the greenwich mean time this line is called as the gmt and east of this east of this line is usually called as ahead and the west of this line is usually called as before that simply means all these countries all these countries which are ahead of this which which are ahead of this simply means if it is at 12 o'clock in the in in the morning at 12 o'clock a.m. this simply means they'll be showing at 1 o'clock a.m. or 2 o'clock a.m. 3 o'clock or 5 o'clock or 8 o'clock so on and so forth and on this particular side on the western side it'll say uh, minus 1 that is 11 o'clock in p.m. Uh, 3 o'clock p.m. 6 o'clock p.m. or 10 o'clock p.m. so on and so forth that means there's a huge difference of time everywhere in this world depending on these time zones India on this hand uh, let me just color it fastly uh, India on this hand uh, let me take a good color uh, mm, let's say green okay this this India okay this is India and this zone is let me color it in some blue tinge okay this zone this zone is my IST zone it's Indian Standard Time zone where this green color country India it is the country which shows the IST IST okay and similarly this country the small country just at the southern tip of India it's it is Sri Lanka this country is Sri Lanka Sri Lanka they also follow the same UTC it is UTC plus 530 
UTC plus 530 but instead of saying UTC Chennai Mumbai Delhi Kolkata they they say UTC plus 530 Shri Jayawardene Shri Jayawardene Pura I'm sorry Jayawardene Pura Jayawardene let me write it somewhere else Jayawardene Pura Jaya Var Dan Ne Pura so this also follows the same you I send a time zone but the the coding is different similarly in other sectors for especially the aviation and military sectors where with they're also dealing with international time zones every time and every second so instead of using such kind of country zones they have they have their own codes uh, for example and they they have uh, smartly given them uh, alphabetically codes uh, ranging with a b c d or they use specifically called as that alpha beta charlie uh, delta echo foxtrot hotel india so on and so forth it goes from a till y and otherwise uh, they don't use Z and G for that matter. Uh, it's J because J is quite synonymous or rather phonetically it's quite similar to G and Z they 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 have their another code for Zulu Zulu time that's the military timing. Okay. Otherwise, um, as as said, they have the Alpha Beta and Charlie and they also use these things. This is a star mark if you see. It says. Okay, let me just take another color it says E star or otherwise you will see C star or D star or rather Charlie star Delta star echo star or something like this India falls into this E star zone and this E means echo echo star echo star so if they'll say that we are in the echo star zone it simply means they must be flying over India or Sri Lanka for that matter okay now, now uh, let's know something beyond that. This is the map of India, and if you'll see, this says 68.3 degree east and 97.4 degree east. These are the extreme points of India. This is the westernmost point, and this is the easternmost point. Eastern most point and this is the westernmost point and this point we have here as Guar Mota in run of Kach Gujarat and Kibi 2 in Anjo district or Nachal Pradesh these are the extreme points here that, that I have just circled down circled them down okay this line is 82.50 east and if we'll just make the average of 68 east and 97 east it comes out about 29 by 2 or somewhere 14.5 so this 18 82.5 is 68 plus 14.5 it's somewhere 82.5 and similarly 97.4 minus 14.5 on the left hand side if you say it comes out to be approximately the same so either go from this side or either go from this side we, we come to the central point of India but the question arises why do we need this the thing is this distance is approximately 2900 kilometers or approximately we will say 3000 kilometers and this is a huge distance 3000 kilometers it's a huge distance if or otherwise in, in say if someone is standing at run of Kutch and he says I, I see the sunrise at 6 o'clock 6 a.m. in the morning then the person who standing at Kibitu in Arunachal Pradesh he'll say oh my god I, I am my, my clock says it's 8 a.m. in the morning this is approximately a time lag of two hours now how to cope up with that well in that case the government of India took a strong strand and they said okay we will we, we'll see this line the central line which is also called as the standard meridian for India so IST line which passes through approximately the center whatever time comes on this line 
will be considered as the common time for whole of India, no matter whether you are standing at uh, uh, Jammu and Kashmir or Arunachal Pradesh or Kanyakumari or Gujarat for that matter, no matter what, what happens. For example, if it is it says 3 o'clock in the noon, 3 p.m., then everywhere on these places it will be 3 p.m. in the noon, no matter what the time lag is. It, it happened after 1947, the independence of India, that the government took the stand, the Indian government. Now, let's see further. India, as we have already mentioned that this line, it's 82.5 line, it passes through the center of India. And if we see with a zoom in effect, it says that we have five state which comes under it. So it is Uttar Pradesh. This is Uttar Pradesh, then Madhya Pradesh, then Chhattisgarh, Odisha, and Andhra Pradesh. These five states comes under this 82.5 line or the standard meridian line. And if we zoom into this particular state, that's the Uttar Pradesh, the Uttar Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, and specifically in Uttar Pradesh, also this Mirzapur, this is the district Mirzapur. It's uh, it's a historically we, we consider that there's a clock tower in Mirzapur clock tower that there's the photograph of this clock tower clock tower of Mirzapur it's a famous one and Mirzapur itself is famous for its brassware and copper I'm sorry the carpet brassware and carpets this clock tower passes nearly to this 82.5 line and we, we usually take this time as the standard time. Uh, in India, another thing arises after, or rather everywhere in this world, this thing arises, who maintains, who maintains the time, the time of a country, of a country. Well, this duty is usually assigned to their national, national physical laboratory, physical laboratory laboratory in any country so doesn't matter in which country you are you must be having an NPL with you NPL with you in your country there must be a maintained NPL which, which uh, talks about all those standard measurements uh, including your weights including your distance including your time or any any damn thing which you can measure they, they usually take effect of that. This is the NPL, NPL of India, NPL of India. It's situated in Pusa, New Delhi. It's Pusa, New Delhi. It's a famous place, especially for the agricultural purposes also. So this NPL, it, it is this building which, which maintains all those measurements and especially in case of time, we have a very sophisticated machine. It's called as the cesium, C-A-E-S-I-U-M, cesium atomic clock. We have a cesium atomic clock. It's a very sophisticated machine that we have and it maintains the time. Uh, now, if, if we remember in the older days, uh, when we don't, we, have, we never used to have computers. Uh, for example, when in 1950s or till 1990s or even in till 2000, when we never had the support of computers or mobile phones, then there was a time. I'm sorry. Then there was a time uh, when this Doordarshan and All India Radio, the state-run television and the state-run radio, were the ones who used to tell us the time of that particular time. Okay, of I'm sorry, it's the time of that particular situation. They used to tell us the whole all over the India, and but now when when we have the support of computers, we have the support of computers, and we all are techno savvy. Even you are watching this video, you must be watching rather on this video either on your mobile phone or your PC or your laptop. The thing is, we don't use the duration or AIR anymore. Rather, we use the GPS technology, the GPS technology. And I hope you remember this full form. This is global, global positioning, positioning system, global positioning system. Now, this is the one which uses satellites and it will tell you what is the present time of any place in the world, in any place in the world, no matter where you go, it will tell you. 
well i hope the information on ist is quite sufficient as of now and hope you understand what i said take care and have a good day till then bye bye